Yeah, good afternoon YouTube. So I have decided that I want to rebuild this uh, jump start pack. A couple of things I'm going to do is I ordered a uh, 12 volt 2 watt bulb for the light to replace the incandescent bulb because that's one thing I've always wanted to upgrade so it's a little E10 Edison 10 socket so I got that bulb on order then I purchased a new battery so I priced these out uh, Harbor Freight you can get the, their new version of this for about fifty dollars couple of things one is it's only got a 17 amp hour battery this one used to have 24 and I priced out new batteries I can get a new battery for fifty two dollars and it's 26 amp hours I went and ordered a new battery so I'll be putting that in so one thing the new jump start packs have is they have USB so I was thinking that would be kind of neat so I picked up a little USB outlet it's got uh, or I guess 2.1 amp so dual 2.1 and then it also has a voltmeter there in the middle other thing I added was a switch here so I could turn the USB on and off the 12 volt outlet is always live but the uh, USB is going to take some power, so it's, of course, off until you uh, turn the switch on. So I've got the hole drilled for the switch, and I'm just getting ready to punch a hole here. The USB needs an inch and an eighth. So I've got my Greenlee punch kit. So I've got, uh, this is a punch here, inch and an eighth. Yeah, I think that'll go. So I'm just going to punch that hole there. Let's just see how that goes here. I'll run the punch through. It's going to cut loose. There we go. We got an inch and an eighth hole. And let's see. This should. Look at that. Yeah, I'll just deburr that hole a little bit. So we're going to put that in there. I guess i got to get the switch in. And then as far as wiring, the back of the voltmeter actually has three uh, spade terminals. So this is the one that goes to the 12 volt outlet down here. And then this one runs over to the circuit board and it's tied into the positive lead. And I guess the way they do that is they, they have the heavy jump start lead and then they have the little auxiliary power. So you got the red and the same on the black. There. So I can hook up the power here, run that to the USB, and then I'm going to run the uh, switch on the ground side. So I'll run the switch over here and probably solder over onto the circuit board there. So the reason I'm wanting to rebuild this, number one, is handy to use by itself. But I'm also looking at setting up a solar panel and charge controller in my shed. So I've got a garden shed, 8 by 10 foot, and it could really use some light inside and maybe like uh, some battery chargers and things like that. So I was thinking this would be my solar battery bank. I've got a pair of 15 watt panels, so I'll have... 30 watts of solar. I've got this, which will have a 26 amp hour battery. I can probably just plug a lighter plug in there. So this way, if I need to uh, disconnect this from my solar battery bank, I just pull the lighter plug out and take this with me. And then I've got my Harbor Freight backpack sprayer, which also has a 12 volt lead acid battery. And that battery is dead, so I've purchased a replacement for that. So I'll have 38 amp hours of battery between the two of these. And having two batteries lets me, I need to take this one out. I still have the backpack sprayer. If I need to use the backpack sprayer, this guy's still in there. So I get two portable batteries that are basically parked on the solar charge controller. So either one will, will power the system and then I can put some LED lights in the shed 
and I can also put some cooling fans so in the summer I can run fans off of these and get a little bit of airflow in there so it doesn't get so hot and stuffy during the day so yeah let me get these holes cleaned up and we'll see if we can get this thing running okay there we go got the new battery in there this is a Kiko K-E-Y-K-O from Japan figured made in Japan is maybe a little better than made in China <laughs> I don't know I figured I'd grab one there and let's see turn this around yeah here we go so this one's got a USB and it's also got a digital voltage and here's your uh, USB let's see what up oh, that's gonna be upside down there maybe let's uh, see if I can flip this over so we can see the display So there's one amp 5.07 and there's two amps and it's still 5.05 if you can see that it's upside down so yeah I would say that's a two amp USB yeah, so anyway it looks like two amps out of each USB outlet so that's pretty good got the little digital voltmeter got to charge the battery up it was down a little bit when I got it but I can turn that on and off so that doesn't take any power then I've got the uh, 12 volt uh, socket there yeah i like this thing for camping it's throw it in the back of the truck and when you get to the campsite you take it out throw it in your tent and you got power so now i've got uh, dual usb charging i've got the lighter outlet and then i've got the jump start if i need it i, I don't think i've ever used it as a jump starter but uh, i've used everything else pretty much so there you go one rebuilt rejuvenated harbor freight jump start from 2001 I think it's worth rebuilding so that was 52 for the battery and I think it was about $12 for the dual USB and a couple bucks for a switch and I've now got a state-of-the-art jump starter brand new and I'll get this hooked up on my solar charge controller get that in the shed I gotta do a little bit of work before I get there but this guy's ready to go. Yeah, I'll put links to the battery and the USB adapter in the uh, video description. If you nice the battery just fits perfect in there. It's a complete replacement, compatible size and terminals are in the right spot. Yeah, I think it's all complete, ready to go. So I'm going to take this in and do some capacity testing on it over the next couple of days probably and I'll Maybe I'll do a video with the test results, see what kind of uh, capacity that battery actually has. So anyway, I thought I'd show you that. If you have any uh, comments or questions, put that in the comment section below. I'll try to put a couple of videos maybe over on this side that you might be interested in. And as always, thanks for watching.